Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see Django Crispy Pomps with Tailwind CSS. Okay, so I don't need to explain, I, although I think I don't need to explain that what is Tailwind CSS, alright? Uh, you already know it's uh, CSS framework, okay? Alright, so here on my computer screen, I am just gonna go to the browser and in my GitHub, I'm gonna open one of the repository and I'll just clone this code. Alright. So I'll just open the terminal and I'll say git clone and paste that URL. The repository has been cloned. Now I will create virtual environment. So I'll say virtual env env. Okay. Now once I do that. I'll just expand this folder and first I'll delete this both files. So I'll just press Ctrl and select these two folder and file and I'll click on delete. Okay. Now here I'll just say pip install Django and I'll select all these files now drag them out of that folder delete this folder and here I'm just gonna say Django hyphen admin start project and I'll say crispy crispy sorry underscore tailwind underscore form Make sure you don't write crispy underscore tailwind only because when we are going to install tailwind css package I mean tell crispy forms with tailwind css package at that time it will have the same app name which we have created the project so don't do that okay just include this form at the end just give space and write dot and hit enter now here I'll follow the same step which I have followed in the previous three videos. First, go to the settings, write main over here, main, then come way right down here. I need to write templates, then go to rls.py file. Here, I'm going to include the package name include, and here I will say path with empty single positions and here I'm gonna say include and I'll say main dot urls okay once this is done now I'm gonna fire the command which is python manager migrate okay once this is done Let's run the server python manage.py run server and our server is up and running. We will have an error on login page, I guess. Yeah, we have. So let's go into the browser again and like let's search Django Crispy Forms. Go to the URL which appears first install go to the tailwind css click here let me expand it click here and i'll also going to click here so this will basically open the tailwind main css file i mean website and this is going to open the repository github repository all right so let's do one thing just copy this command come to the terminal and i'm just gonna paste that copy these two things go to settings.py paste then copy these two things let's write crispy tailwind css settings Paste that one, save it, and what else we need? Nothing, I guess. 
so come over here run command run server hit enter come over here refresh we have the what we can say the fields but i don't think so we basically implemented tailwind css let me go to register page first okay let me make mistake over here submit no we haven't really implemented it so here first of all i am gonna go to base.html okay i will remove this css we don't need that and this script we don't need that too come over here oops refresh okay everything is gone now here let's go to get started then play cdn and uh, we need to just copy this one come over here paste come over here refresh not refresh okay now the Telvin CSS I guess has been implemented okay so the bootstrap class is not gonna work anymore so for button we need to import another classes from here so let's do one thing mm, over here we also need to include some tags this filter so let's import that too so let's go to the register user paste that one from over here let's see what changes we are able to see nothing but copy this one go to login underscore users paste that one here too refresh nothing is happening all right now here let's search for containers container okay so we do have this class just copy then come over here cut this code paste that one over here and i guess we need to do this come over here refresh is it a login user yeah it's login user do same thing or uh, don't copy whole thing just copy this line and paste that one over here refresh okay we got this uh, form in much better way all right now once this is done let's go to the website back and find css for button okay i don't think so i'm getting button over here but i'm gonna go to google again i'll say tellwind css button i'll just click that over here and i got this class so i'll just copy this one copy and i'm gonna go to vs code and here i'm just gonna paste that let's see what happens refresh okay so we got the button now let's make an error submit yeah i need this submit okay so you can see we have implemented the telvin css form okay so let's create the user user test user one test user1 at gmail.com and i'll say password admin at the rate plus 221 admin at the rate plus 221 admin at the rate plus 221 submit we are successfully logged in okay so i need to implement that container class to the home page so i'll just go to home page implement that class over here refresh and i'll also see, copy this css of the button copy go to login user 
paste that over here and also go to home page and uh, paste that thing over here but instead of blue I can say red it's not working red okay red and uh, let's say test user one and i'll say admin and then plus two to one login login log out yeah so it is working perfectly fine so we have again implemented the Telvin CSS uh, crispy form. So yeah, this is it for today's video guys. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And in next video, we are going to see the crispy forms with bootstrap 5 in more detail. Okay. And we are also going to cover what are forms in the Django, like the advanced course of these forms. Okay. We are we here. We are creating the simple forms, but we are going to create the advanced forms and we will also see each and everything in this. So yeah, this is it for today's video guys. Thank you.